Hi, my name is Belgica. If you don't know me, I make acting related videos all of the time. I have so many videos on my channel that you can go check out. I would really appreciate it if you subscribed, if you're not subscribed yet, and like this video. And at the end of every video, I do feature another channel. So if you're interested in me featuring your channel, leave me a comment, like this video, subscribe, and I will do so. Today, I want to make a voiceover demo reel, specifically a commercial voiceover demo reel in English. A few years ago, I made this video and I made a reel in English and in Spanish for voiceovers because I was getting a few jobs and I thought well let me make a reel so I can get more jobs and since then I haven't done very much voiceover I mostly do on camera acting but uh, I, I'm noticing that my agency in San Francisco sends me a lot of voiceover auditions for commercials specifically. So I thought I should make a commercial voiceover demo reel and send it over to them and update all of my casting websites uh, with this new voiceover so maybe I can book some jobs. And specifically, I am basing these off of jobs that casting calls that my agents have has sent me recently or in the past so i'm going to show you how i made my scripts how i'm recording it and then i'm going to upload it and show you guys and of course i'm going to upload the audio only to my casting websites and send them to my agents first let's go over the scripts that i made up so i did write these myself and i got inspiration from auditions that i have had in the past or commercials in general that i have heard and i went to youtube and just searched old radio commercials, radio commercials in general, and listened to a bunch of commercials because a lot of them do have a voiceover on top of whatever image they're showing you. And I wanted to hear different ones to see which ones I usually get the auditions request um, from my agents for. And then I wanted to mimic those. So for mine, I got three main categories within the commercial voiceovers. The first one is presentational. They're trying to sell you something. They're trying to show you how great their product is. The second one is friendly. This one I get all of the time for auditions. So it's as if you were talking to a friend. And then the third one is something that I, I know I need coaching on for voiceover and acting in general, but that dry sarcasm that you hear all of the time. If you guys have ever seen the purple commercials, they do a lot of dry, sarcastic um, commercials. So I'm gonna try and do those three. And I did, I did write up a script for all three of them. For this one, I want it to be around 30 seconds. So I wrote one line for each of my commercial categories, and then I'm gonna send it over to my agents, see what they think and see if it's usable for them. And if they think it's fine, then I will leave it as is. If they want me to change it uh, or make it longer, I will of course make those edits. But for now, I wrote one line for each one. For the presentational one, I did want it to be like those uh, commercials that you always heard on the radio back in before the, early before 2010, I would say, is when a lot of us actually listen to the radio and not just podcast. Um, so for the first one, I said, so come and visit us today in store or choose curbside pickup and have the best sleep you've ever had. So that's a mattress commercial, a commercial, uh, and of course right now I'm not doing the voices. I'll show you guys the voices once I'm actually recording it, but uh, that's the line I came up for it. For this presentational one, I did want it to be something uh, a commercial that you could hear on the radio or you might hear it as a voiceover for some kind of mattress company. I remember growing up, I used to hear a lot of sleep train uh, mattress commercial. I think it was this sleep train mattress. And you'll notice in all of these, I'm not saying any brand names because I, do, I don't want to make a commercial about Doritos or Best Buy or something like that because I didn't actually get hired by them and I don't want to confuse anybody that's listening to my reel to think oh she already did a voiceover for Best Buy so we don't want to hire her for fries. So for my made up uh, scripts I did not put any names and I did get inspiration like have the best best sleep you've ever had from a, other mattress commercials because that's pretty much what they always say in those masters, mattress commercials. And then for the friendly one, I want it to be somebody very sympathetic. It's like a friend that is telling you, uh, giving you advice or really listening to you. So for that one, I put, you're a small business. It can be hard to ask for help when everyone else needs it. That's when we come in. That's, that's where we come in. We're here to help. And then for the comedic dry one, 
Uh, I, I was having a lot of trouble writing these because I don't see myself as a writer that much. For this comedic dry one, this is the one that I really want to get good at because I get this type of audition for on camera and voiceover all of the time. I really want to book one soon because it seems like so much fun and this is definitely one of the things I'm going to work on when I get a voiceover coach and an acting coach. Um, right now I'm in an acting class so right now I have to wait until this acting class is done and then see when I have money to allocate to the next course but I would love for my next course to be voiceover um, related. For the comedic dry one my script is avoid the anti-maskers and download our app now and have dinner on the table before they can say make America great again. <laughs> These you can see I'm trying to make them very now so uh, putting in the curbside pickup putting MAGA it's, you know, it's very now it's because I'm making this, I can change it if my agents tell me, hey, can you make an updated one or can you uh, change it? We don't like it. I can change it because I'm making this myself. And of course, the best thing you could do is actually have a professional team making your demo reels, your voiceover reels. But I'm doing this because I need to update my voiceover reel and I don't have the money right now to hire a whole team to record it and to edit it and to direct it and to um, just help me out with the whole process. So I wanted to make this especially for fun. I'm hoping to develop the uh, quality of recordings that I can do at home soon so I can do more voiceover work at home and of course get some training. So uh, let's let's go record this. Something I used to do <laughs> when I lived in a tiny, tiny studio was simply put this blanket over me when I was doing voiceover auditions. And because my computer is right here and I no longer have a laptop so that I can take into the closet with me, I'm going to surround myself with this blanket while I record this. The computer is right there. But let's try it and let's see how it sounds. I'm just going to put this all over, all around the um the table because the table i have the desk i have is glass so i'm gonna put the blanket around everything and then click record and um see if this works oh my goodness it is getting hot it's i recorded my audio so now i'm going to edit it and um i'll go ahead and show it to you guys i didn't use much to record this i used the blanket to make sure that it was all around and no sound was bouncing off of anything that made it sound it weird it made it sound weird uh it didn't sound perfect but it was also pretty good so i'm happy with the way it came out and what i used was this gxl 2400 usb mic and this small tripod that i've had for a long time i just went ahead and attached it and uh this pop filter just in case. And I recorded it on QuickTime Player. I just uh, searched QuickTime Player on my Mac computer. If you guys have Apple, um, you can just search it and uh, uh, click file and then new audio recording and you will be able to record some audio. So come and visit us today in store or choose curbside pickup and have the best sleep you've ever had. You're a small business. It can be hard to ask for help when everyone else needs it too. That's where we come in. We're here to help. Avoid the anti-maskers. Download our app now and have dinner on the table before they can say, make America great again. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun recording it and it was even more fun writing it, uh, coming up with those ideas. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. At the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video and leave me a comment.